in a Milwaukee neighborhood, Stop. there's an imaginary garden, making a real impact. I'm going to put the dragonfly. This is Shell, the fairy garden at the corner of Bellevue and Prospect in Milwaukee. Aria Haggerty named it. Aria and her mom Carly put the garden outside of their home, and with the little fairy dust, it magically started to grow. I thought it would stay in the fairy realm, for lack of a better word, but um, we've watched outside as like college kids have dropped off old toys that they must have maybe in their dorm. Trinkets, treasures, and toys dropped off for little girls and boys. Why do you like this fairy garden? Because it's my home. And they've spread. There are at least four other homes with fairy garden beds. I just think it's great. It's sort of a community, brings us all together. It's a fun thing for kids. You know, there's lots of kids that walk down our block just to look at them and through the neighborhood. It's just a great way to bring people together and bring kids together. Families build gardens, kids check them out, and walkers leave gifts. Matthew Gedneth thinks it's bonkers, and he really likes it. And none of this is make-believe. The fairies and gnomes bring together neighbors and homes. And these villages are open to the community, so anybody walking by can come and add their small, personal touch. And so small too, but this fairy magic is big and true. We've just had really beautiful connections made over something that is so simple. In Milwaukee, Matt Carmack, TMJ4 News.